What's going on guys? Today I am back with another Destiny 2 video and today I'm bringing you the location of all of Cade 6's treasure chests, the locations! And this week the Flashpoint map is Anessa, so this is where you will find them. So we're going to start with this one right here. So you want to spawn into Exodus Black as we will do. Now before we go any further guys, do you want to win some epic loot? I've got emblem codes, spiral codes, gift cards and much much more. To win some simply drop a like on the video and leave a comment down below. Okay, so when it eventually loads, here we go. You just want to simply run to this back corner up here. Um, I think this actually is towards Excess Black Strike. I could be wrong, I normally am, but yeah. Anyway, you want to get up, go up there. So yes. Avoid all these enemies. You could jump on your spell. Probably save you a little bit of time, but oh well. Now while everybody else is playing Iron Banner and grinding them faction tokens, um, here's me making videos for you guys. Because that's what I like to do. Okay, so it's just literally around this corner. Right there. Okay, so let's see what we're going to get. And I'm going to get nothing. Now how is that and why is that? Why do I keep getting nothing from these chests? I don't get it. I keep getting dud chests and now I know people say well there's a, there's a timeout on chests if you loot so many in a certain amount of time that you won't get loot from it but I've literally not looted anything today. That's the first thing I've opened but it is what it is. Okay so on to the next one. Okay guys, so the next one we're going to get is this one right here. Now you'd think you'd have to spawn into Exodus Black to pick this one up, but oh no, I've been searching for the past 20 minutes to try and find this one and you don't go to Exodus Black at all. So what you want to do is you want to spawn into Watcher's Grave just like so. Once you are in, you want to simply jump on your sparrow and head back on yourself. So you want to head in this direction right here. Now there's actually two down towards here, but we're going to get this one first. So it's probably the hardest one to find within today's video. It is a bit of a pain, I'm not going to lie to you guys. So yes, you just want to follow this route right here. You're coming to this uh, this kind of cave system. And there's two paths you can take in here. You can go right or left, and we're going left here. Forget about the public event if that's in here, because it just, well, you know, you can do it if you want to really, but yeah, just remember which way you got to go. And it's left once you're in that cave, so yeah. Come up in here, and it's a, things get a little bit tight, which is all good. Um, and you just follow your way all the way down and be careful here because um, you can just go off the edge on your spell. So once you are here, you can see the, the chest is right there. So you just want to make your way across by simply scaling these floating rocks, which is pretty easy to be honest. Um, it'd be even harder though if they did move or disappear like the ones in the water glass, that'd be pretty cool, but yeah. Wow, that's bright. That is super bright. So let's go. I know it's this way. Yeah, this one took me so long to find. Ooh, I, thought, oh, I almost fell off then. Yeah, this one took me so long to find. Stop. What are you doing? Why are you slinging me the wrong way? Damn. Okay, so let's see if I get another dud chest. Hopefully not, and it gives me five exotics. Oh, got a legendary! So I wonder if that's what happened with the first chest, but I didn't see anything pop out. I didn't see anything pop out. Okay, so on to the next one. Okay, so the next one we're going to grab is this one right here, and again, you need to spawn into Watcher's Grave. Once you are in, you simply want to pull out your sparrow, and again, head back on yourself, just like so. Now we're heading to that kind of cave room again, but this time instead of going left, we're going to stick right. Now there is a few different places you can get to by going right, so just make sure you follow my route exact and you will find this chest. And my phone is vibrating like crazy now, but yeah, don't worry about that. Um, so come to this room and you want to go straight through and you want to aim for this little passageway right here. Now follow this around. And you'll eventually come to this part right here, which is where you need to jump off your sparrow. Because the chest is located up there. So you simply just want to run and jump up. And grab that also precious loot. And I got a House of Exile banner. Woohoo! Okay, so on to the next one. 
Okay, so the next one is located right here. So simple to get to. You just simply want to spawn into a watcher's grave. Just like so. Once you are in, jump on your sparrow. Now this one's literally right. You can't miss this. It's literally right in front of you. And the enemy is moving against each other. And we can see it is up there on that enormous branch. So you simply want to jump up onto this tree. I'm not even sure how you get up here, but we will find we will figure it out. I'm guessing you go this way. Or not. Okay, so you don't go that way. Um. Uh, oh, this way. There we go. <laughs> there we go. You go that way. Almost got lost there, lost there, people. Excuse my noobness. There we go. And what's it going to give me? Oh, I got two blues, and I got a weapon mod, and a letter fragment. Okay, so on to the next one, which is the final chest. Okay, guys, so the last one we're going to get is this one right here. Now, you can spawn into either Artifact's Edge or the Watcher's Grave, but we're going to go with the Watcher's Grave this time around. So, once you spawn in, as I do right here, right now, you want to simply jump on your sparrow and follow the route I take. Now this one, it, it's not difficult to find, but I mean, the place it points it out to you on the map, it's like not there. So you're like, well, what have I got to do? Where have I got to go? But it's actually in the last sector underneath, which is actually located in a little sneaky room in there. So I'll showcase it to you guys right here, right now anyway. So no worries if you can't find it. But yeah, so you just want to follow the route I'm taking. And you will come to the Tangle, I think this place is called. Um, whatever. Then you want to come down here. Alright, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. And you'll see right here on your right, there is a last sector. This one right here. So you just want to go into this. And you'll see there's a little sneaky room somewhere here on your right. Uh, right there, a little hidden pathway. You go through here. And the chest is right there in front of you. As simple as that, people. And this is the fifth and final Cade 6 chest. And I got two blues and a mud. Woohoo! Nice. But guys, they are K6 treasure chest locations for Nessus week 5 of Destiny 2. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, if you did, do hit that like button. It really does help me out. Thanks as always for stopping by. And hopefully I will see you on that next video. Get it right.